So if you had to sum up the Baha'i faith, it would be to implement unity or to bring about unity or to help us all unify. And humanity, humanity is so divided. And this is such an important calling for all of us. Then we're told in the Baha'i writings, um, and Anissa, I know you have a quotation that reflects this, is that the purpose of justice is the appearance of unity. So we know that unity is the most important thing to achieve in the world, in our lives, and it is the pivot round which all the teachings of Baha'u'llah revolve. So the next question is, so how do we achieve unity? And what's so amazing is that in the Baha'i faith, justice is elevated to like a prerequisite for achieving unity. And this quote in English, um, the appearance of justice, uh, sorry, the purpose of justice is the appearance of unity can be misunderstood in English. And um, I asked a friend who speaks um, Persian, which is the original language in which this was written to help me understand that word appearance. Because in English, um, it can actually mean two things. It can mean the creation of something or it can mean the facade of something, like just the appearance. And to me, those were really important differences. And um, they explained that this was the same word that's used in Persian to describe the rising of the sun in the morning. So what I take from that is that what Baha'u'llah is saying is that the purpose of justice is the appearance, the emergence, the, the uh, gradual emergence and appearance of unity, not the facade of unity. And that's really important because we also know through other Baha'i writings that justice and, you know, and I, I'm, I'm a lawyer, um, I work with victims of violence, um, survivors who are demanding justice, and I can tell you that much of that process doesn't look like unity. In fact, it looks like not unity. <laughs> like the, the beginning stages of justice look a lot like not unity. And, and it's important for us to see kind of the arc of justice um, because also a lot of people think that justice, when we have it, what it looks like is punishment. But again, if we understand that the purpose of justice is the appearance of unity, we can also understand that that arc of justice, where that moment of punishment or protection occurs, is not the end. That's not the conclusion. Because then there's a whole other part of the process that has to involve truth and reconciliation and um, reconcile, you know, and unity, ultimately, unity. 